I want to speak about the Middle Bronze Age, but I want to, to do, give a deeper insight into the processes of the transition under the early Middle Bronze Age and uh, at, at the Middle Bronze Age. This I have taken some traces of the boyards and the settlements, which can be uh, dating. Uh, in the in this period, and I will look on this uh, phrases. So this so such a micro uh, side. Um, Moravia is the uh, country part of the Czech Republic, which is on the north edge of the um, Carpathian Basin. Uh, so uh, I must say that the situation is uh, in the Middle Bronze Age or the early and Middle Bronze Age different as in the, for example, very good known uh, sites as the Franzhausen in the south or uh, Jelšovce uh, in the east. Uh, the Early Bronze Age is uh, uh, the end of the Early Bronze Age, which is my topic now. Uh, it's typically with the information burials in the flat cemeteries. After the classic phase of the Aunikica culture is assumed that we have the termination of the standard uh, Inhumation right and the boil rights are disintegrated, and it shows us as the uh, almost complete absence of the boreal finds. Uh, the latest uh, period of the early Bronze Age is uh, known as the Vietnam group, it is the part of the cultural complex of the Major of Civitas of Behindkirchen, and uh, we can interpret or the, as well, uh, at the most interpret as the pit burials period, pot burials period, and uh, we, have, we should have some uh, disposal of cremation remains, some uh, cremation uh, burials. Um, we know already that we have some uh, graves, some disposal of the bodies in the graves, and we know that as the pit burials, so the pot burials are typical not only for the Vietnam group, but for the Aunikitsa culture too. When we look on the data, I count what was possible. Uh, we show, well, we see, <laughs> that uh, the put braille in the Aunikitsa culture as the in the Vietnam groups as uh, in the similar uh, uh, volumes as the put burials. What is uh, different? Uh, we can see the high difference in the uh, graves of the uh, other graves. <laughs> It's the, the grace of the architecture is inhumation. I have counted only the uh, largest cemeteries and the newest excavations of it is probably more than 700 uh, graves of the Unitica culture in Moravia. And we have only uh, uh, 61 graves of the Vitaro group uh, in Moravia uh, in this later period of the era Bronze Age. So uh, it is not the change to the uh, antipical rites as uh, the pit burials and pot burials, but it's, it is disappearing of this inhumation burials. Yes. So um, <coughs> where we can uh, looking for the answers to this question, uh, we have one uh, site. It is uh, Borkice Borough Cemetery, uh, which is on the South Moravia, the only uh, cemetery of the Vietnam group. It is a uh, cemetery. Uh, which is uh, covered with the uh, uh, woodland area, so it is preserved. Yeah? Uh, it is published, and we can see on this cemetery uh, at the first time the direct continuity between early Bronze Age and the Middle Bronze Age. And uh, from the uh, excavated uh, part of the burrows, uh, we can uh, uh, eat the burials from the Bronze Age. So, and uh, I must say that the topography of the cemetery is uh, uh, sure uh, that on the one side you can see the Vietnam of uh, Boris Diaret, and on the other side you can see the uh, burials of the Tumos culture. I have counted the, after the uh, document, after the publication and the graphic documentation, the uh, depth of the burials on this cemetery, and we can see that on this cemetery uh, we have uh, one part of the uh, burials which are under uh, the uh, uh, old land uh, surface. Uh, it is uh, about more uh, as one half, but only eight of these burials is deeper than 30 centimeters under the uh, 
this old land surface, yeah, of, of the ground level. The other uh, of these burials are over, yeah. So there are uh, in the uh, in the uh, F covering or uh, on the old uh, land surface. What uh, is important too that uh, the uh, not all of these burials, which are uh, known, which are taken as the Vietnamov. Uh, are dated after the finds. Yeah, this part uh, or this uh, uh, of this grave uh, is dated only after the position of the grave in the tumuli. Yeah, so when the tumulus as whole is dated in the Vietnam, then all the finds which are as Bronze Age, uh, known as Bronze Age, are dated in the Vietnam. So it is a very high proportion of these graves. So we can uh, look at it as uh, and figured out that uh, for the Vietnam group uh, burials is typical as the high amount of graves in uh, over the uh, old land surface as a uh, very uh, high amount of the graves which are very uh, very low deep uh, under the grave surface and um, no, no one of the burials was in the subsoil is very important. And uh, we have uh, less of boils with the gray food. Uh, the second phase of the graves, uh, of the cement cemetery, is the from the Middle Bronze Age. Here it is situation a little bit different. We can see that we have here uh, part of the uh, graves which are under the old land surface, but some of them are in the uh, already in the uh, subsoil. Yeah. They are deeper, yeah. So, and other part of these graves, and it is a higher amount, and it, in this weight uh, of culture, are over uh, the this uh, uh, over uh, old land surface, and at most are these graves um, dated after the finds. Um, for the uh, sure, uh, for, for to have sure uh, data about the weight of group. We have uh, dated uh, one of the graves, which was possible, but, but uh, very of this uh, of this finds of the burials are very bad preserved. So we have dated one which well, it, uh, well, it was possible, and we have some dates to the typical grave uh, of the uh, of this vintage of uh, group. So it is for us very important for other interpretations. <laughs> Uh, we have in the neighbor countries one of the signs which can be compared to this uh, work exercise, that is Pitton World Cemetery. Uh, it is in the, it is about 120 kilometers south. Uh, the, here it is preserved by the mounds, are uh, overlaid with the sediment of the river. And Buzoya uh, Mivara Benkovsky dated this site to the Middle Bronze Age as whole. Uh, other analysis of uh, Josef Bishke uh, dated uh, this uh, eight, uh, nine of the burials uh, to the uh, already to the early Bronze Age. Uh, it is uh, precisely a middle Danubian Bronze Age one, and uh, we can uh, under these graves, uh, this, under these burials, are uh, two uh, which are uh, and it is in this tumuli uh, one hundred sixty four. Which are uh, in the uh, in the uh, cover of the tumuli uh, or uh, on the F uh, on the uh, outland su surface. The other of the graves are under the outland surface, and uh, the most of them are really deep. Yeah. So um, I would uh, show here that uh, the situation can be really. Uh, when we taken this dating uh, from uh, Blishka as real, uh, the situation can be be in very in the uh, very uh, uh, encouraging. It could be uh, very different. Yeah. Um, what uh, we have presented already uh, uh, earlier is my colleague Garrett Farma. We have counted uh, some data about the burials of the Middle Bronze Age of uh, Moravia. Uh, uh, we have uh, shown uh, that figured out that we have uh, really uh, changing corridors through the whole Middle Bronze Age. Uh, as I have now showed in the uh, Bronze Age R two C or the late uh, phase of the Bronze Age two, we have uh, as distinctive increase of barrel burials 
as the uh, above a level ground rails. Uh, in the, the phase B2, C1 uh, prevailed uh, in our data the tumuli uh, uh, in the C2 cremation boils, and in day one uh, we have at most the uh, boils uh, above the uh, ground level. So uh, I would show here that it is really a long change. Uh, uh, it is a really long change under the uh, early Bronze Age and the uh, Middle Bronze Age to the uh, on fields. Yeah? Every time is changing one trace of the uh, right. Uh, let me show very, uh, uh, very short uh, what is uh, in the space uh, development. Uh, we can see that uh, our sites have the continuity under the uh, early Bronze Age to the Middle Bronze Age. And when we are looking for some break, it is not so high. Uh, so big break, but uh, on the side, Gulin is Dorka, we can show that uh, this middle uh, central area, uh, we can show that we have uh, distance under the group of the Kunietice graves and the Vietnam group, uh, one Vietnam group uh, grave, which is there. So it is when we are looking for some uh, change, it could be on the end of the post classical phase of the Kunietice uh, culture, is after the location of the Sites. And yeah, when I uh, concern on the uh, settlements, uh, only um, I will speak only about the lowland settlements. So the uh, hilltop location wasn't uh, then wasn't paid attention in the last uh, years. Uh, it could be uh, in the question for other uh, re uh, research. Uh, in the lowland settlements, I will take two traces of the change. Uh, uh, on the beginning of the early Bronze Age. Uh, These uh, two traces are timber frame houses, uh, which uh, are appeared uh, already on the end of the early Bronze Age. The first of them we have uh, in the uh, settlements of uh, Vietnam group uh, in Hodonice, that is uh, uh, precise dating. And uh, the other we have in the settlements which are as Vietnam group as Tumulus culture as uh, in the tumult sculptural uh, settlements and later too. So I will, will already show, uh, already uh, sh uh, see uh, here that uh, we have uh, the settlements uh, from the early Bronze Age with the most post hole structures and in the end we have the other type of construction which began in the end of the early Bronze Age. Uh, the other trace that I will show from the uh, settlements, uh, I will show that we have on the end of the Elder Bronze Age the uh, pit, uh, uh, pits, uh, trapezoid pits uh, of the storage pits, uh, which are really huge. And on the beginning of the Middle Bronze Age, we have uh, pits which are cylindrical or trapezoid too, which are very low volume. So uh, it could be another change of the uh, settlements we can uh, take it with the social organization or to interpret it as the uh, uh, influence with the crops which are planted in this time. But uh, it is one of the changes we can, which we can date it on the settlements. I want uh, to the conclusions, I want to say that uh, the changes are or the, it could we speak about changes. It, there are transformations. It is a long transformation process of every of uh, the uh, type of our question as the, the boreal rights, as for example the settlements. When we would speaking about the uh, about the economy, we would find very much of the uh, changes uh, which are uh, in one uh, long uh, process or transition of the economy from the early to the uh, late Bronze Age, and um, we must take um, our data as the uh, long processes. Yeah? So when we uh, take only one trace, we would really find the change. When we take uh, all of the, uh, the higher amount of the traces, we find that uh, no one period is the same as the uh, early uh, earlier period uh, that time. 
So uh, thank you very much for your attention. And that's my hope.